Hey guys, Sarkin from Sarky Tech here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing two amazing tricks to customize your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, the first tip has to do with your lock screen wallpapers. So let me show you something really amazing. So what you want to do is you want to paste the screen and you want to go into your wallpaper and style. And then you want to go into your gallery and go to the folder where you keep your wallpapers or any photo that you desire, okay? And then when you click on it, here I have eight photos in here, actually seven photos and a video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to select, let's just say five photos for this example. And you can see it says five out of 15. So you can select up to 15 photos. I'm gonna select five for now. I'm gonna tap on done. And I'm going to say, I want to set this on the lock screen. What the phone does for me is it creates a batch of those five wallpapers. As you can see, you can scroll through them. And then all you do is set on lock screen. And what now is going to happen is every time you go into your lock screen, it is going to automatically switch that wallpaper to the ones that you selected. The five that I selected in this case, uh, you can go up to 15. So you can have your kids, your pets, your family members, your buddies, whatever you want to do, but it's a great way to customize and create your own set of changing wallpapers. So that's number one. Let's move on and talk about number two. But before I do that, a quick word from our sponsor. Guys, here's one of my favorite apps, Blinkist, who is also the sponsor of this video. We live in busy times and it's hard to find some time to sit down and read books. It's almost impossible to satisfy our quest for knowledge. So what if there was an app that could let you digest an entire book in around 15 minutes? There actually is, and it's called Blinkist. Now Blinkist takes top nonfiction books, condenses them into 15 minute audio or text format that you can get through quickly. You can either read, or listen, it's up to you. You will get all the core ideas and the essential information out of any book and basically level up your knowledge, your intelligence, and your confidence. And of course, you've got thousands of titles and 27 categories at your disposal. There is a world of knowledge. So recently I was interested in getting educated about artificial intelligence. So I picked up the book Super Intelligence by Nick Bostrom, which explores the idea of machines surpassing human intelligence. As I was short on time, I appreciated that I could digest this information in 15 minutes. It's a great way to learn. Now here's the deal. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Saki Tech are going to get unlimited access to the app for a whole week and if you decide to keep your membership, you are going to get 25% off, which is an incredible deal. Links are going to be down below. Go grab the app. All right, the next tactic has to do, again, with lock screen wallpapers. In this scenario, we're going to go to the gallery and basically go anywhere that you have a video file. This could be a video you recorded with your camera, a video you downloaded to your phone, whatever. So in my case, I have a 13 second video right here. This just happens to be my intro to my channel, okay? So what I can do with any video file is I can set it as a wallpaper. So all you do is you tap on this button, all right? And then you say set as wallpaper. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get two options. You can do the call background or, or the lock screen. So you tap on lock screen, all right? And look at that, the video gets previewed in the background and they allow you to do up to 15 seconds of any video. So what you can do if it's the video is too long is you can tap on this scissors icon and you can change the size. You can even make it smaller if that's what you want. So look at this. I can move and make it smaller. So now it's uh, 11 seconds. So I click on done. It trims the video if you change the size of it automatically uh, for you. And then it sets it. So I set that. Tap on set on lock screen, then go out and look at this now. On my lock screen, I can actually have any video file. You can create your own wallpapers, a walk in the nature, your kids playing, whatever. It can be right here and it's going to play over and over and over. All right. So any questions, comments or concerns, 
Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?